So, hello friends, in this lesson, the biomolecule chapter under the part 8. So, in that carbohydrates classification, we are discussing. So, in the previous slides, uh, I have been finished with the monosaccharides, disaccharides, and this is the now polyosaccharides third category. Afterwards, uh, fourth category polysaccharides. So, in this point of definition, in some of the books, they were uh, writing the 2 to 10, or uh, sometimes so 3 to 10 also. Right? So, the main conclusion of this oligosaccharide definition is minimum 2 is required to up to 10 monosaccharide units with the characteristic in case. So, in this case here, we mentioned the 2 to 10 so that, so it will be minimum disaccharides, that means to minimum required. So, disaccharides nothing but 2 monosaccharides units so with the glycosidic bond. So, in this disaccharides, further divided into homo disaccharides and uh, hetero disaccharides. So, homo means similar kinds of monosaccharides units linked with the glycosidic bond. So, here example maltose alpha 1 for linkage is there with two glucose units combining together. In the case of cellulose, beta 1 for linkage is there, in that also two glucose units are linked with the, the glycosidic bond and con converted to cellulose like that. So, whereas the hetero disaccharides, hetero means a different monosaccharides units linked with the glycosidic bond. So, example sucrose, in this case, alpha glucose plus beta fructose, these two are different. That, that's why we are calling a different monosaccharides. So, here one more lactose, so in that uh, beta portion the galactose plus beta portion the glucose. So, that's why we are calling hetero disaccharides because of different monosaccharide units. We have homosaccharides because of the same kinds of minimum two similar kind of homosaccharides units linked with the glycosidic bond in the case of disaccharides under that homodisaccharides. So in the case of uh, second category in the oligosaccharides, the B1 is trisaccharides, tri means three. So three monosaccharides units are covalently bonded by each other with the glycosidic bond. Best example, monotriodes. Monotriode is three carbons. Whatever that. So here example three alpha glucose units linked with the glycosidic bond. Thank you very much. So for the video, uh, I will discuss the polysaccharides. Thank you very much.